beauties! Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to start off by reviewing the box. This box has been out for, I think this is the fourth month I want to say. There's a waiting list to get on it. If you don't say you want to be on, if you like put on the waiting list and to say you, when you get the email you don't get it in time or whatever, for whatever reason you don't want the box at that time. You have to like re say that you want to be on the waiting list to be get it the next month, the waiting list. So just personal experience. But so I finally got it. So I figured I'd try it out, see what the big deal was. And let me just wow. And not wow in a good way. We have the TMI Green Tea Detox Mask. It's thirty dollars. And this is a mask. It has like green tea, lemongrass, clay in it. And it's supposed to rid pores of impurities while replenishing the skin. So I did try this. I will insert the photo here. I like to do mask while I take a bath. And I had it on during that bath time. And it, my face felt dry. Like I had to get a washcloth and wash it off after I washed it off with just the water and stuff. Like I had to scrub out my face and then I had to use my cleaner and stuff just to get the mask off. I wasn't wearing makeup that day. So, I mean, it might be fun for like when my daughter and I do facials for a short time, but not for very long. And you have to really clean it off very well. So, I mean, and I'm going to start grading it. So I probably would get it give it about a two star out of five star rating. Left Coast uh, Skin Mask was three dollars and it's a sheet mask and I do like sheet masks better. I did like this mask better. I'll insert a photo of me using it here. But I mean one mask for three dollars, you know, it's nothing to write home about. Next thing, the Catalina Eye Jumbo Liquid Eyeliner for eighteen dollars. This is a felt tip eyeliner with a big uh, tip. I will show you pictures of it here. I didn't even try using it because I do not like felt tips. I much prefer a brush tip and I get a bazillion eyeliner so I get to my sister. So that one I'm not really going to rate but for me personally as a grading it would be down pretty low because I don't like felt tip. Um, and now the Perfect V VV Serum. It's $54. This is a very unusual product to be in a subscription box because it is for your vaginal area, your bikini area. Now, I read reviews on it and it said it's great for after shaving or waxing. I'm not real sure like, why it's in a subscription box. It's a little odd. But, I mean, it doesn't give any, like, tingly -ness. I don't know if it does anything. It looks like a thin lotion to me. So, I would probably rate that... Probably, probably a two, again, two out of five. And this Melanie Mills Hollywood Gleam Body Radiance, $18. Okay, this thing, it looks nice when it's coming out. It's a pretty small little thing. Like, even the little bit of amount I did use here, I mean, it did go a long ways. I had to really, like, rub it in. My issue with this is it has glitter in it, like chunks of glitter, and I don't like putting that on my skin. I, I love, love glowiness, but I hate glitter. Uh, it's very hard to remove from your skin, and it also can, you know, clog your pores, all that stuff. But it's a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the ass to remove from the skin. Let's just say. <laughs> the last thing is the Real Her eyeshadow palette, the third one, and this is twenty eight dollars. And if you see by the swatches here, they did not swatch very well. I prefer horrible in the eyes. It is buildable, I will give it that. Fallout, very, very, very light. I didn't love the colors to begin with. Um, I was just trying to do like brown. I It just, it did not perform very well. The shimmer did not show up at all. So I'm going to have to give it maybe a one star rating. <laughs> I, I probably would get a zero star. I mean, I, I'm going to give it the one star just because it is buildable. You can build up the color. But I did not like it. I ended up putting other eyeshadow on top of it after this because I wasn't going to wear it. So this box was not for me. I decided because there is a huge waiting list and everything, instead of trying it another month and giving it a chance, I just decided to cancel it because... There's other people that are waiting for this box. I'd rather give them the chance. So I'm going to tell you how to cancel it. It is a little bit 
difficult. I actually sent them an email saying I wanted to cancel it and I found like the contact part from the email that they sent me saying it has shipped because I looked everywhere where I went to go, you know, get on this waiting list because I used the link from other videos. Could not find a part where you log in, could not find a part where you contact them or cancel. So I finally found it, how to do it. I will put in the description below how to do it, but um, I'm also going to put a screenshot up here. So if you want to know how to do it, you can either pause the video or you can look down below and I will give instructions as well. But that's for if there's anybody out there who's wanting to cancel this box and don't know how, here's how to do it. Now for the box, I would have to give my rating a 1 out of 5. I am starting this new rating system where I rate each of them so that way you guys know automatically what I think of the box and it kind of gives you guidelines. I mean if it's a bigger box I might do it out of 10 but for the most part I'll probably do it out of 5 because that's usually about how many products you get. But it's going to be also based upon how high I rated those products and how much of a value of that box to me. So I mean the box had a value of $151 but my personal value was pretty much nothing. So anyways, that's it. Thanks. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.